Assemblage is art that is made by assembling disparate elements, often everyday objects scavenged by the artist or bought specially. The following examples are by artist Betty Saar, a black artist um, born in 1926 and still living today, I think at 93, and producing art um, in the assemblage style. Here are two examples from my own house that my grandmother made in a similar style. As common as a shipping box um, that's fairly small, although this takes more finishing in the end. Um, there's a wooden box here, which is what's provided in our kit from the gallery. And you can get these type of boxes in lots of different shapes and sizes at the art store. You can use a shoe box. This one, I got a fancy pair of shoes in it. It has a very beautiful um, pattern on the outside. So I might use that one. Um, I will have to repair the corner that has torn, but I kind of like that one. And I will recover the inside um, to contain all my items. You can even use something as small as um, an old eyeglass case um, and make your little tiny, if you have some little tiny things that you want to assemble into a piece. And I might actually use this as part of my larger uh, piece. So any kind of container or board will do. Okay, so there's a few basic things that we'll need. Um, first of all, you need some glue. Um, you can use tacky glue or Elmer's glue, a glue stick for paper things and light things, but it's not going to work for some things. And if you get glue all, that's um, better than school glue, which isn't quite as strong and will um, buckle your paper when you glue it on. Um, you also need a pair of scissors, scissors, a pencil, pencil and some kind of ruler or straight edge. It doesn't have to be an actual ruler, but just something that you can draw a straight edge along. This is Mod Podge, of which there are many varieties. Okay, so I've decided on sort of a nature theme. So I've got a bunch of things collected here and I'm just gonna kind of share with you what um, what I went through to, to collect all these things. Some of these pieces are old artworks or projects that I did with kids and they're examples of that, that are just left over and hanging around my house. So I had this butterfly and this dragonfly from something like that. This I had just small sitting around. A friend of mine made these cute little flowers that have just been sitting around. Um, I have some rocks and shells an old, I tried weaving a paper magazine basket. Um, we got some natural things from the yard, some beads and old trinkets, um, some dried flowers. This is a little ceramic piece, which if I used it in my collage or my assemblage, I would probably paint it first. I've got a selection of words that I've cut out from magazines, things that I think will fit my theme. Um, I also found some fabric pieces and ribbons and um, some tissue and a pretty envelope, different pieces of paper that you can use. Um, if you have old flat pieces of artwork, such as small paintings or just colored backgrounds that you think might fit, you can see I'm kind of going to go with a green, yellow, blue sort of color theme. And I have this old sketch painting that I think might work. Um, haven't decided whether I'll use that yet. I also collected some photographs from some magazines that are on the theme. So I've got a um, bee on a flower. We've got some little flowers cut out here. Um, trees and these are pictures I took of flowers in my garden which I could cut out and use on a collage on the the box if I like. And lots of these pictures come from old calendars or magazines that, or just junk mail that you have sitting around the house. So there's lots of things that you can pick up useful pieces from. 
I also have a little collection of things from the kitchen that I collect, which, you know, include little spice jars or small jelly jars, um, corks, uh, lids from various things, um, little tubes, a clothespin. So all of these things I'm going to consider. I'm certainly not going to use all of them, but I'm going to try to figure out what's going to go together color-wise and theme-wise in my theme of um, nature and um, how these things might look good together. Okay, so here we are back um, after we've decided what to do with the inside of our box. I decided that I'd like my box in a vertical format and I pasted um, or glued a few pictures and a little painting that I had on the back just flat in there and I used a foam brush to spread the glue out so that kind of tries to prevent wrinkles and um, curls in your paper as you glue it. Uh, if you if you just put beads of glue you can kind of see where those are. And then I decided to just paint the rest of the, the sides um, blue because I have some blue in this outside design and I have some blue elements in the pieces of art that I have decided that I want to include. So I also decided since this picture didn't go all the way to the top that I would make a sort of a shelf, um, an insert for it here to go so that I could set some things on the shelf as I view it from the front. Um, also though, I, I really wanted to include this stick and as you can see, it uh, goes all the way to the top. So I decided to try to um, devise a way to put the stick through the shelf. I'm going to set that all in there and glue it like so. So this is the next step is to kind of get this, this part glued in here. And probably the best thing for gluing this would be a glue gun um, or some tacky glue. I think I'm gonna try tacky glue, um, which is actually more permanent than a glue gun, um, but it's gonna take a little while to dry. And then I'll figure out how to put in these other elements of my design after that all gets put together. <clears throat> okay, well I've got most of it in place. I glued in this little bird picture in the front there, which is going to create a little shelf for some things to sit on. I have a little shelf back here. I glued on a leaf. I'm going to add this dragonfly to this little corner right here. And my butterfly, I think. <clears throat> right here. I glued this to the back so that it would have another little support there so I wouldn't just be gluing it to an edge and I think that'll help it stay a little bit more stable. So those two things there or maybe hmm, maybe there. Maybe do I need both? Maybe not. It's all up to you. Then I've got to figure out what to do with these little guys, which I'm going to have to glue on. So maybe, hmm. Maybe the butterfly and not the dragonfly? See, this is the question. These are the things that you have to work out as you go. So I'm going to continue adding the last pieces to this and I'll come back when I'm all done. So this is my finished piece. I hope you've enjoyed working with me on this project. Feel free to use your own inspirations and style to create your assemblage 
box.